Welcome to another episode of One on One Notary Coaching with me, Mark Wills. I teach the loan signing system. If you're watching this on replay, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to help you become a better notary signing agent. If you are brand new to one of these episodes and you are watching this live, it is so easy. Just hit the join add video button right here on the bottom side of your Instagram page. And I am so excited to help you grow a notary signing agent business with as much advice and expertise that I've had in 18 years of scaling to a million dollar a year business. So everyone is joining me now. Hello, hello. So glad to have you. I am Mark again, and I like to teach notary signing agents how to maximize and scale their notary signing agent businesses. I'm doing so good. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, we got over 140 people on this right this moment. So let's get straight to it. So I do a, a first in, first out. First come, first serve is what I should say. So let's get this together. There we go. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, how are you doing today? I am good. How are you? Oh, I am good. Cool. So tell everybody your name, where you're from, and then let's get to some coaching. Um, my name is Melissa, and I am in Kissimmee, Florida. I was actually on my way out to go drop off a package. Oh my gosh, <laughs> signings. I, I That package to me equals money. Congratulations, girl. Amen. Yes. Um, so. so I have been doing this for about two and a half years come okay. January. And um, I have been fidelity approved as of last Friday. So I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, I'm just trying to find more direct. Cool. Um, I have, I do have a couple that I've found along the way, but they're not as, I guess, fluent, shall I yeah. say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, majority of my signings do come from Snapdocs. That okay, I will cool. Say. Okay, well, I got some information to help you with your, uh, with your business. Are you a loan signing system student or not? No, I am not. Okay, cool. Well, I well, first of all, well, thank you. I'm humbled that you follow me. You're not even a student. I love meeting non-students. So um, thank you so much for allowing me to be a little bit part of your journey through my social no, media. thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. Okay, so let's talk about it. Look, the, I'm going to be, I'm going to give you business coaching. This isn't even notary coaching, okay? The business coaching is, you know, people can't hire you if they don't have your phone number. People can't hire you as a signing right. agent if they don't know you're a signing agent. So no matter what business you are in America, if you're not telling people that you're in business, then you just can't get business. So let's go back to a notary standpoint. Look, you're in Florida. Some of my best students are in Florida. Your market is so hot, but the title company across town can't hire you if you haven't walked in there. So the first thing- So I, I have contacted some, I'm sorry to cut you off. I have contacted some through phone or whatnot, yeah. or have, if I've gotten one through and I like through Snapdocs, I would call them and let them know, hey, do you do, and all of them say they go through Snapdocs or signing order. Okay, so let me tell you, so what's happening is you're getting blown off. The, look, we are a client facing forward business. So what that means is someone has to hire you in order to sit them in front of their clients. So a phone call doesn't help anything. So the first thing I would teach you if you're my student is you got to push past your fear of walking into a title company. But keep in mind, the title company, so many new signing agents like yourself who are trying to go direct, get a little too pigeonholed and, oh, I got to go to title companies. That takes a little bit of understanding of how that whole works. But girl, you should be networking, uh, business networking events, Kissimmee, Florida. I guarantee there's probably 10 a week. You should be going to open houses, which I guarantee there's a million every single weekend. So my point is you don't need to get so myopic just on walking into title companies. But what I will tell you is you, this is a client facing business. You got to go in and let them see who you are. You're asking someone to trust you with their business. A phone call is not going to solve that. Does that make sense? No, 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 no. Well, the only reason I did the phone calls because I already had somewhat of a relation because I was doing a signing for that escrow officer. Again, so again, 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 let me, let me but, stop yeah. you for a second. Let me stop you for a second. All I hear is a signing agent who's trying to take the easier way from point A to point B. Even if you have the relationship, it should still be face to face. Remember, right. this is a relationship business. Is it easier to make the phone call because you already have a connection? Sure. But let's get that out of the way, girl. You know right. that's the easier way, point A to point B. And so the business coaching I would tell you is if it's easy, don't do it. Because every other signing agent's doing it. So what I would do next time is get up, put your nice notary signing agent outfit on, 
walk in, show some gratitude. And then remember, persistence beats resistance. Now, I can't give away what I teach my students on what to say when you inside the course. But with that being said, the, my free coaching is they hire you. And unless you are going to make face-to-face -face contact on a weekly, semi-weekly basis, you're no different than any other telemarketer calling them. Does that make sense? But again, my coaching you is, you know, don't get so myopic just on title companies. Right. The thing with business is that this is a relationship business. You're still trying to take the easy way to point A to point B. And I get it. What makes this business great is you can answer texts and get business. You can make a phone call. But if you're really going to scale this business, you got to understand that the people are going to hire you. And until they know you, they're rarely going to hire you. So you should be going to open houses. You should be going to networking events. You should be walking in title companies. You should be hitting up your own personal network. And then what I do so well is when you're in front of people, I tell you and coach you how to say it. Because the most uncomfortable part about this business is not knowing what to say or how to interact or how to get someone down the sales funnel. Because girl, to make no mistake about it, when you're face to face, you're in a sales funnel. So if you don't know how to present yourself, that's why you should get a coach. So whether it's me or somebody else, you're making money, invest in your education, invest in a trainer. And this is not a pitch from you to use me. This is the pitch of finding a mentor. Because right. you need a little bit of sales training, you don't have any, and then you're wondering, well, how come someone's not using me? And the simple answer is because you don't have the sales training on how to approach direct business. So. You know, I would say my first piece of advice is find a trainer. Maybe it's not me, but someone you resonate with. I mean, like, look, I admit that I could use some face-to-face -face sales training. It doesn't mean you're any right. less of. That actually means you're actually interested in scaling a business. But the reason, number two, is the, face -to -face, is the phone calls aren't working is because you give them an opportunity to push you off the phone. When you're face-to-face, -face, there's no opportunity for that. So what I really hear, and, and, and I'll end with this, is a signing agent who needs a little bit of encouragement to step outside their comfort zone. Because no, I, I actually made a list and I did do one. I went into a Stewart title office that was nearby, but not a lot of my signings come from local title companies. Let's and be that honest. needs a to lot change. Of them come well, from well, California. Girl, girl, that needs to change. I mean, you, you're in Florida. You're not like in the middle of North Dakota. Like you should, that all should be coming from direct sources. So yeah. what you need is somebody to help you. Again, I'm not saying that should be me. Is really to push you outside your comfort zone because I'm still hearing a lot of excuses, not any reasons. And this is just business coaching. You're telling me everything that's easy to do instead of things that are hard to hear. Like you got to learn, get pushed out your comfort zone via a mentor or someone you trust. Because here's the honest truth. Are you ready? I'm going to end with this. 75% of the reason my students get direct business is not because of what I taught them to say. It's because they actually are able to get through the comfort zone and open up that front door. And so if there's anything I can inspire you with today, it's not necessarily listening to what I teach signing agents say, it's to realize your greatness. Signing services, I want you to hear me on this. I'm gonna end with this. Signing services are making money off of your back because you are not doing what the signing service owner does and that's going in and introducing yourself. There is no reason why a signing service owner, and I own a signing service, should be making money off of your effort. If you can just push yourself past that comfort zone, understand this girl, Melissa, you are deserving, you are worthy, and you deserve the entire fee. Amen to that. Amen to that. But all intentions are pointless without action. Right. So I need you to take action today, which I would argue the first action you should take is stop trying to do this business on your own. Like why? You have revenue coming in. Like why you're not getting a coach is beyond me. It's like if you had a child who's looking, looking to get good at basketball, the first thing you would do is get them a basketball coach. But yet you're in business and not getting yourself a business coach. That train of thought really befuddles me sometimes because you do everything for your son or daughter to get good at something. But yet you who have revenue still won't hire a signing agent mentor, whether that's me or somebody else. So I think the real thing is just push past your nerves bite the bullet get a mentor second thing is keep remembering you deserve the whole fee girl your um your let's let's say because i was looking into your um program does your is there a time frame that i have your program for or yeah forever i mean you're buying my program girl i would never take it from you um but yeah i mean you get it forever and honestly um the best thing next best thing about my course actually isn't me it's my community we have a huge community out of florida uh, huge, by the way, and you'll join. And when you realize the LS family is really colleagues, not competition. So a lot of times outside signing agents entering this industry see each other as competition. 
There's enough business for everybody. No matter how good you think you are, you can only be at one appointment at night in your town. There's business for all of us. So when you join the community, you realize that we're really here to help each other and support each other, uh, which is arguably better than anything I can bring to the table because the community is amazing. But girl, um, I'm gonna end with this. Believe in yourself. You deserve the entire fee. Just saying you do doesn't right. put more money, doesn't put more money in your bank account. You right. gotta put actions behind that belief. And so I would be honored to be part of your journey, but even if I'm not, the first thing I need you to understand is you deserve the entire fee. You are worthy, you are amazing, and go get them, girl. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, be blessed, bye. Bye. I, I love that conversation because, I mean, honestly, so much of getting business is believing you deserve the business. So much of going into a title company is believing that that title company is deserving of you walking in. So no matter where you are in your journey right now, it starts and ends with belief in yourself. I believe in you. And let me tell you, let me tell you why I believe in you. It is so hard to be an entrepreneur. It is so hard to be like, I'm going to start my own business. Do you know how much courage and bravery it took even to be a signing agent? So when I say I believe in you, it's not because I'm giving you a raw, raw, raw speech, man. I believe in you because I know you're cut from the same cloth as me. Someone who believes himself, someone who's a risk taker, someone who understands in order to get more, I got to do more. So don't stop that self-belief with just becoming a signing agent. Don't start, stop that bravery with just taking your first signing. Go all in because you deserve the entire signing fee. Every single signing service owner like me who walks into a title company, you can do the exact same thing. So believe in yourself, man. You're amazing. Let's go. Woo, what a good way to start off the very first one today. Let's get somebody else on right now. Um, where are my gentlemen at? Let's try to get a gentleman on here right now. Looks like we got my man, James. Um, let's go. So glad you're here. If you're just joining us, my name is Mark. I teach notary signing agents how to make money and scale notary signing agent businesses. So an honor and blessed that you are following my page here on here live with me. Um, but it doesn't look like uh, James is jumping on. So let's try, uh, oh, James, are you there? I'm here. Oh, you gotta turn the camera around. You are on live, my friend. Nope, there we go. I wasn't trying to be on live, but hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's go, <laughs> so you got some, uh, got some following let's up go. with me to do. Talk to me, man. First off, tell everyone your name and where you're from. Okay, I'm James Jefferson, and I'm from the metro area of Atlanta, Georgia. I get it, get it, get it. So talk to me, how's business out there? Um, so far so good. Um, I took some recommendations you gave us last week. Um, I got a notification today for a signing. I did all the, the, um, the routines to get to it, but they already gave somebody the signing, but it felt good to actually go through it. Um, I sent my information directly to the signing service. So now they had me on file. I was able to talk to a couple of people to let them know um, I gave them the script. So if they ever have a signing in this area, um, I could be on top of the list now. So I'm moving. All right, love it. So I'm moving, I'm moving. First off, I'm so proud. Action equals success. You're putting in the action. So I'm proud of you as well. Make sure I say that out loud, man. So many people get the information and do nothing with it. So let me give you the, kind of the next steps, okay? The next steps, you remember, fortunes in the follow-up. Too many signing agents are like, Mark, I had that great first connection. Mark, they told me they're going to mark me preferred. Mark, they told me they're going to get me, give me their next signing. But remember, signing services are so busy, right? And so, yes, they might mark you preferred, but three or four other people could also be marked preferred in your area. So remember that. So your goal now is to keep doing what you're doing. However, it's to follow up on a weekly basis. Remember, the appropriate cadence okay. is once a week. Right, and so whether you're doing once a week phone call, once a week thank you cards, once a week uh, emails, just make sure it's once a week because now the next step is to make sure they remember James. Because remember, here's how it works, so just to teach you and everybody on here. So I type in a zip code, 92101, that's the San Diego zip code, let's say I type in 92101, okay? And now let's say that there is four signing agents that I enjoy in 92101 that I enjoy using that don't make errors or my preferred notaries. So as soon as I put 92101 up in the, in the um, search bar, then my four preferred notaries pop up first, all the other results pop up below. Now the question is, who am I going to remember out of these four? Does that make sense? Right. 
And so if I don't have a relationship with one specifically, what goes in my head as a signing service owner is like, oh, Sarah's done, done me good three straight times. Let me use Sarah. But there's three other people that I just have not had a top of mind marketing to. So I forget. Does that make sense? So your job is understanding yes. that even though you're Mark Preferred, there could be two or three other signing agents Mark Preferred. Because remember, James, there's business for all of us. Because if you can't answer one, someone else needs to get it. So my point is, they have to have a few preferred. So now that you're being okay. Mark Preferred, your job is to follow up. So next time your zip code pops up, bam, they're like, oh, my man, James, that's right. He called me up last week. He sent me a thank you card. Let me give him the appointment. Does that make sense? It's a lot of sense. All right, dude. Well, I'm proud of you, man. So I think your coaching for this week and your goals for this week is all those great conversations you had last week. Make sure that you follow up with them. Remind them of why you, they chose a mark you preferred. Just say, hey, it's James down here in Atlanta. Just if you have any signings this week, I'm your guy. Have a blessed week. And then move on with your day. But just do that kind of top of mind marketing. You know what I mean? Do that once a week. Make okay. sure they remember. Use the script again. Okay? So make okay. sure the script's in there. In, the, in those communications, my point is, remember why they should use you, not just say, use me. And go get them, James. I'm excited for you, brother. Good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. Go get up. Be blessed. All right. All right. You too. Great, great conversation with my man, James. I mean, look, you know, the biggest takeaway from that conversation is remember fortunes in the follow-up. And remember, when a signing service marks you prefer, this is insider knowledge here, everybody they've marked preferred goes to the top of the search results. So it could be three or four other signing agents along with you. So just marking you preferred doesn't necessarily you will be the next person to get that signing. However, if you're marked preferred, you keep reminding them that they did mark you preferred. The next time your name comes up on that zip code, then they go, oh my gosh, it's connecting the dots. Remember, this is a relationship business. So make sure that you go get that relationship built. Okay, cool. Let's get someone else on. Let's go. I'm going to try to go back and forth there. What a great day. Hope everyone is having a great Monday. What a kickoff to the week. I love this. Uh, let's go with... Sacred Tribes. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark. If you join us for the first time every single Monday, I go live with hundreds of signing agents. Hello, you're on live. <gasps> yes. Hi. Yes, you, girl. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Okay, so I only know you by your Instagram name. Yes. So tell everybody your name, where you're from, and let's rock and roll. Awesome. So I'm Nay. I'm, I'm here in Cincinnati, Ohio and um, Sacred Tribes Notary Service. It's very nice to meet you finally. But My pleasure is mine, Nay. All right, girl, talk to me. Where are you at? Where so are you I, have a question. Um, I have a nine to five. I've been a signing agent for about three months now. Okay. I got my first escrow and title company a couple of weeks ago. So everybody <laughs> drop her a clapping <laughs> emoji. That is fire. Yes, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Nay. I want to inspire some folks. Yes. More time. Three months in, getting direct business. I am. And so I want everyone to be inspired by you, girl. You're yes. inspiration. Okay, so nine to five, part-time. Talk part to me. What's the question? And I've only been, well, I've worked with two um, signing services so far, but I've been consistently working with one. And that's only because I have a nine to five and I want to do this part-time. But my question to you is, I love my nine to five. I don't see myself going anywhere yeah time um i guess my question is how can i don't want to market myself out there even more because i know what i'm doing and because of you i'm not i haven't made any mistakes seriously and sure. so i don't want to market myself out there and get more business but then again it's like am i just sitting waiting yes yes so, okay i love the brain turning as we speak yeah. so so the, the short answer is get out there market. So okay. first off, most signing agents, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, are part-time. Right. We have so many part-time signing agents getting direct business. But here's the goal. If your goal is to really never leave your nine to five, yeah. then your goal is to keep finding uh, escrow officers that truly fit your schedule. Okay. And so you can't assume the one direct you're working with is going to be that client. Right, so right. Your job, quote unquote, is to filter out new clients and find the ones that really work with you. Maybe you find someone does a lot of business where you live, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't know that until you start marketing. So 
my coaching you is don't don't create a problem in your head that doesn't exist yet right, right? so sometimes here's the coaching sometimes we make up these narratives prevent us from doing the work that has to be done. You're like, well, I don't want to get too busy, so I don't want to market. Right. Which really is yourself saying, okay, I'm a little nervous about marketing. I really don't want rejection. So yeah. we make up these narratives that make sense, right. but prevent us from doing what we really need to be doing. So I'm not here to tell you to quit your 95. In fact, I love, we have a lot of students who love their 95. Yeah. We have some students who need the medical benefits, et cetera, right. et cetera. So right. I'm not against it, but what I am against it is trying to create these narratives that haven't happened yet. So my advice to you is keep digging. Okay. Keep marketing. And then just, and by the way, this is a good problem to have is when you start building out your clients and you're like, oh my gosh, this client works better with my schedule. Me and this escrow officer click better. We're actually more friends. It's okay to start letting other clients go. Like the signing service. Yeah, that's right. Or even escrow officers. Yeah. Like look, th th when I first got into business today, I still don't work with the majority of sign, uh, escrow officers I did 18 years ago. Like replacing and getting new clients is all part of the business cycle. Right. Does that make sense? So girl, I want you to go back. I want you to go market your face off. Okay. Find those clients that fit your lifestyle and your business. Okay. And I'm telling you, you give yourself six months of what, the, the same effort you did the previous three months, you will have the perfect part-time business in six months. But be patient, mm -hmm. filter out the clients, find the ones that you love, find the ones that are closest to you, find the ones who have the clients right in your area. You can build the business around your part-time business, but not with one or two. Okay. You, know, you gotta go, you gotta go kiss a lot of frogs. Yeah. If I'm find the prince. Prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? But look, that's that business and normal. So yeah. I mean, we're not any we're not unique to this idea of that, you know, we need to find clients because like I always tell you students, we're gonna attract who we're supposed to attract. Right. But you can't attract anybody if you're not saying hello. That's so true. I want you to go out there and get yeah. it. I am so proud of you. Make sure that you are part of the Ohio Facebook group. I am. Okay, good. Because I know our girl May out there has a signing service. So make sure you're marketing her. She's the ambassador of the Ohio group. Okay. So make sure you're marketing to our, your own LSS family. Um, but girl, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. In three months, you got direct. The biggest thing I can't teach is effort. Yes. And you have that. Yeah. And so now my job is to give you a little nudge. You <laughs> get back out there, girl. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. And one more thing before I let you go. Yes. There's no other like you out there. The amount of encouragement you give is everything i'm telling you and i know every time we get on we get on live there's this you always giving your feedback and mentor but i just want to say kudos to you seriously oh, thank you you're gonna make me cry on camera girl <laughs> um thank you so much honestly i'm gonna end with this with you thank you thank you know you. I, i'm not the only mentor out there uh, and so you chose me and for that i'm humbled and full of gratitude and i will always be in your corner girl you know that thank you so much i appreciate all right Go get them. Bye. Okay, bye. Uh, what I loved about my biggest takeaway with Nay is that, you know, sometimes we, uh, we, we create narratives that, well, well, if this happens and that's not going to work good for me. And so therefore we justify not putting out that effort when really the effort is where the, really the narrative is prevent us from what's kind of difficult and hard. So, Make sure that you're not creating these narratives, which by the way, are true and do make sense, but really ask you, is this narrative preventing me from doing what I should be doing versus is this really a true narrative? So a great conversation uh, with Nay, girl. Thank you so much for the kind words. All right, who do we got up next? What a great day to start. Hope everyone's having a blessed week. I know it's wet out here in California, so hope everyone's safe no matter where you are. Winter is upon us. Um, all right, let's see if we can get Frank. Oh, Roman, my man, Roman on here. All right, Roman, you're up, my man. Um, all right, Roman, get on here, my friend. Uh, yes, yeah, so I see some comments about conference. Stay tuned, it will be. An Roman, my man. Hey, Mark, can you hear me? How you doing? Can you see I'm me? I'm good, bro. I would say I say your name, but I know your name. Where are you from? And let's get into some coaching. Awesome. So uh, my name is Roman. I'm here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, as far as the market here, I've heard you um, ask the question a couple times. Um, it is, uh, there's a lot of notaries here. Um, business has definitely gone a little bit slower for me, but it has pushed me to go out and market all the time now. 
Um, so actually, a lot of my signings, most of my signings this month have come from uh, a direct um, escrow uh, officer uh, more than. Yeah. So for the first time this month, um, it's been mostly direct and very little signing service. Well, hold on, hold on. Everyone's going to try to drop Roman Wolf out right now. Almost all direct business. Yeah. Let's go. Out yeah. in Texas, out in Ohio. It doesn't matter where you mm -hmm. are as long as you're putting in the work. So, you know, uh, let me say a couple things that I heard, okay? You know, we, we use this word slow mm -hmm. that doesn't exist in any business. It is mm -hmm. naive mm -hmm. to think that business will always go up. So it's never slow. It is always the market fluctuations. So the market always fluctuates. And it's naive for you, Roman, to think otherwise. Does that make sense? Yes. The moment you put the word slow in your mind, discouragement sets in. I want to yeah. coach that out of you. Okay. I, I definitely agree. I definitely agree because it makes you think something a little bit different and that's not That's right. It. The the moment you think it's slow, you it, you enter reflect like is something wrong with me if I am I doing something wrong? And we're not. All it's called is market cycles. Every have you ever seen the stock market? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we're not any different, right? So my point is, man, you got to get rid of the word slow. There's no such thing as slow. There's going to be cycles in our industry, right? So are we in a cycle right now? Yes, we are. That's fine. So the word slow needs to come out of everyone's uh, vocabulary because it is naive and it's setting your own self up for failure to see like, oh, uh, like we're slow. No, we're in cycles, right? There's mm -hmm. going to be ups. There's going to be downs. You know, the, the, we don't know what's on the, uh, in the horizon in six months. Maybe rates drop because of X. We don't know. They thought the 3% interest rates were going to go away and then all of a sudden Delta variant came in. All of a sudden, rates were three and a quarter, dropped back down to 2.875. So instead of saying slow, all you got to do is like, look, there's only two times. There's only two times you have. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. There's signing times and marketing times. Uh, yes. No. There is no. no yes, that's you did exactly not hear me brain... say it's slow or busy. That doesn't exist. Oh, it is yes. marketing time or signing time. So if you're not doing signings, you're marketing. If you're not marketing, hopefully you're doing signings. So we got to get out of our head. So my man, like what I wanted, so this is more of a coaching mindset right now with you and everybody on the call. And that is when you're not signings, doing signings, you're marketing. And if you're not marketing, hopefully you're doing signings. That's it. We have two times in our industry. There's the actual execution of what makes us money or we're getting opportunity to make money. And to think that we're always going to be on an uptrend is just not a way a business owner would think. There's right. no business owner in America who goes, oh, oh my gosh, it's down today. It's like you would go crazy if you had stocks. You're like, oh my God, it's down. Let's sell, 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 sell. No one does that, right? Right. So, my man, all I'm going to coach you on today is if you have time to market, notice mm. how I didn't say it was slow. If you have time to market, you should be marketing. If you have time to go show gratitude, show gratitude. Here's another thing with, with signing students like you, you know, you have time on your hands. You you panic versus mm -hmm. you told me specifically you have some directs. Yep. So if when you're busy, you do not have time to deepen those relationships. Mm -hmm. So if you have time, maybe instead of going in and asking for something, instead of going in trying to get a signing, maybe you go into one of your directs and just shoot the you know what with them. Hey yeah. man, how was your weekend? Man, my weekend was crazy. And so sometimes we become so robotic and forget mm -hmm. that we're in the relationship business. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely run into that issue. A lot of my, um, um, I did, I actually, I had a great conversation with an ENO um, officer the other day. Um, I had did a signing for her in the office and just took, you know, 20 minutes to talk to her after and which she, she really, ha she was really happy with because it gave her that 20 minute breather um, for her to breathe and just talk. And um, I actually wanted to mention one more thing is I had asked her if notaries come in and pitch to her um, just so I could kind of get a sense of, you know, uh, who I'm working with. And um, she showed me some things that they showed me or that they pitched her. And I know one of them had a card with absolutely no picture on it. Um, and then um, the tip that you give that you give in your uh, in your program about. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't give that tip away. We got oh, being okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we sorry, got, I'm sorry. We got to protect right. your you're investment. Right. You know you're right. I mean? You're right. You're right. Okay, I, I get overexcited. I get overexcited. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's good. Uh, but here's what I will say. You know, what, what I want to say is I'm proud of you. Like I'm so proud of you. You know, the only this this coaching call was more of a mindset coaching call. Absolutely. There is signing times and there's marketing times or building relationship times. 
to think anything else is you haven't made that transition from an employee mm -hmm. to a business owner. Right. Remember, you're a business owner first, employee second. An employee panics. A business Absolutely. owner understands market cycles. A business owner understands that, you know, when I'm making a ton of money, maybe I should put some away because it will undoubtedly slow down and it will undoubtedly go up, right? So mm -hmm. if you're making a ton of money, maybe the solution is put a couple bucks away because you understand there's market cycles, which every single person, every, every single industry does. So I need you to be more of a business owner, less of a employee, and don't ever use the word slow again. It's like, look, yes, I'm sir. either signing or they're in marketing. I'm creating more deeper relationships or I'm doing signings and understand that there's going to be cycles. Yeah. Right. Like I told you literally seven months ago, everybody was like, Oh my gosh, we're never going to see rates under 3%. And then the Delta variant hit. Well, I guess what happened? Under three percent, And that's just the, the business in general. So keep your head down, man. Stay focused, keep up that energy, keep up that a beautiful smile, talk to your peeps, and build relationships. Sound good? Yes, thank you so much, Mark. All right, keep crushing it, man. Keep crushing Take care. it. Thank love you. it, love it, love it. You know, I think one of the best things that I could teach right there is, you know, every business in America has cycles. Like, it is naive to think that we're ever not going to have a slower period. It's naive to think that the slower period is not going to turn into a busier period. Like, that is an employee mindset thinking that business is going to go up, 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 up. If you've been in business long enough, and I want you to notice that I'm calling you a business owner, not a signing agent. See, the signing agents who think they're a signing agent first and a business owner second never scale this business. But signing agents that are business owners first and signing agents second are the ones who really understand that every business will have cycles. So when you're in a busier market, you put some money away knowing that the market may slow down because that is inevitable. But when we're in a slow down market, you also understand that business is gonna get busier because that's what markets do. So when it's quote unquote slower, you are marketing and getting ready to eat again during an upswing. Every business in America goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. So a good business owner understands when the market's hot, I'm putting money away. When the market is slower, I'm marketing my face off because I want to catch all the signings in an upswing. What an, in, what, what an uneducated business owner does is they market during an upswing. Let me say that one more time. An uneducated business owner, any business in America, starts marketing when the market gets hot instead of marketing before the market gets hot. You want to catch all the signings and you want to catch the wave but a lot of people catch the wave while it's cresting versus catching it on the, on the way up. So you're a loan signing system follower. So my coaching to you is if we're in a cycle when it's slower, you need to be marketing harder because you need to catch the wave when it goes up versus being, oh my gosh, all of a sudden it's busy. All these signing agents are to making a ton of money. And now you walk into an escrow office where the escrow officers are too busy to hear you use the loan signing system script. So you want to make sure you get out of the mindset of being able to be a business owner and not a, just a signing agent. A signing agent stamps things. A signing agent makes a hundred dollar point. A business owner is constantly building. Let's go. What a great Monday. My name is Mark Wells. I teach the loan signing system. I teach signing agents how to make money in the notary signing agent industry. I hope you're having a great time with me today. We're on every single Monday live, 12 o'clock Pacific to one o'clock Pacific where I give you one-on-one -on -one notary coaching. So let's go next. Uh, no. Oh, Courtney, you I, there? I was like trying to hit the accept. Hi. What's up, what's up, what's up, girl? Okay, cool. So where are you from? And let's get some coaching. Let me hide my pile of laundry I was working on. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm Courtney. I'm from uh, Rayford, North Carolina. So Hope County, although I drive a lot because this is kind of a small town. Um, yeah, so. I'm excited to be on. <laughs> I am excited to have you on, girl. So talk, where are you in your business? Let me, let me give you some coaching. Talk to me. Yes, thank you. So I started a couple months ago. Um, it's going great. I made $2,000 my first month. Hold so. on, hold on, hold on. I want everybody to hear that. <laughs> your first month, how much yes. money did you make? $2,200, all signing service. All part-time, very part-time. I don't know. Can everyone drop her some round of applause? <laughs> drop her some fire images. Oh, my gosh. Okay, girl. Well, let me just tell you right now. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
it's time to go direct. Yes, that's my question. So life has changed a little bit for me since then. I've had to really scale back my hours. I have two kids. One of them's medically complex. So I'm, I'm home with them full time. So now I'm only signing purely weekend, uh, weekends and evenings. Okay. So I got my business cards. I'm doing the research um, into the, I'm in a real estate state. So okay. real estate agents, one second, baby. And um, <laughs> Don't reset high, say what's I, up. <laughs> I know. Okay, Bob, we're going to play in one second. So my question is, how do I use that availability I have to come off as more of a strength? That's what I'm nervous about is my really limited um, availability, even though I know that's kind of me just getting in my head. So. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> for me. I'm proud of you. Okay, so look, here's the answer. You ready? Okay. Nobody needs to know you're part-time. Okay. Like, literally, you, you're, you're making, like, so it is literally a, are you available? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. You have to understand, you know, when, when you market direct, and the reason there's business for everybody is because, Mm -hmm. You have a very limited schedule. So every real estate attorney, title officer, escrow officer has to have a plethora of notaries because they cannot assume everybody has the same schedule. I mean, you could be a super slam notary, right? right? So if somebody calls you for an appointment and you can't make it, you literally just say, I'm not available. Like, don't overthink it, okay? okay. And then you'll start building the relationships with people who then start understanding, oh, she's a mom of two. Oh, because you know what I teach you, right? So mm -hmm. make sure that you, when you go in, you're letting people know about your family and then they'll start understanding how they could work around your schedule, but it starts a relationship mm -hmm. and then it ends with them working around your business. But yeah. in the beginning, it's just, you take what you can and don't yeah. overthink it. Okay. But, That's what I'm doing. Cause I'm, a, I'm up for just afraid of that. Like, Oh, I'm only, but I know I'm, I mean, I'm busy just on weekends and evenings. So I know the business is there. That's right. And, and I'm, I'm going to get a little bit deeper. You're, you know what you're really scared of? You're scared of rejection. You're scared of like, you're scared of doing something you've never done before. And yes. so I want to tell you that, you know, you can't get good at something until you do that. something. Okay. So I want you this week, I want you to, I want you to make a commitment to me. Okay. Okay. Can okay. you make this commitment to in front of your baby girl? Okay. Yes. I want you to go to one title company this week. Just one. Okay. Use the script. And you, and when, here's the best part. When you leave that title office, you can be like, wow, I'm still alive. Yeah. Wow, I'm I know. still breathing. I know. So just don't mention availability. Just use a script. Just talk about, you know, what I know, all the, all the, all the LSS things. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. Because honestly, like, like if they call you and you can't make it, you just say I'm busy. They're going to assume it's from a signing, but it's not relevant. You're not lying to anybody. You're like, right. I'm busy. And so, yeah, get that narrative out of your head. Mm -hmm. jump, jump in the deep end, girl, yeah. and go get it. But girl, you're ready. You know you are. I know. Gonna, I know. <laughs> I'm going to end with this. Okay, I'm going to end with this. Ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. I am not any better at watching somebody sign their name a hundred times than you are. Right. I'm not. Yeah. Okay? What we do is pretty simple. It's imperative mm -hmm. to the industry, but it's pretty simple. Once you can do an error-free signing, we're all the same. Does that make sense? The yeah. signing agent who makes more money than you is not better than you. Like there's a point mm -hmm. of diminishing returns on our skill set. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. once you do a signing error free, we're all the same playing field, which you're there. Yeah. So I want you to remember that the signing agent makes more money. He's not better. I don't care if someone has 5,000 closings. They're not any better than you. Yeah. You can do a signing error free, right? Yeah, I can. I'm right, doing really well. So I'm, I know I can, I just got to, be uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Well, girl, go get them. Stop those narratives and uh, DM me on exactly how it went. But you're committing. There's 200 people on here and probably 4,000 <laughs> signing agents going to watch this. Mm -hmm. So you're committing to one title company this week, correct? Okay. Yep. All right. Let's go. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do. So I apologize for all the chaos, but thank oh, you. Don't apologize. I got a toddler too, so I get it. Go get them, girl. <laughs> Bye. Oh, right. what a great conversation with Courtney. I mean, look, I think the biggest takeaway in that conversation is, you know, in my opinion, the biggest takeaway is, you know, realizing that once you can do a signing error free, we're all the same. The signing agent who makes more money you isn't better than you. What does better mean in our world? It just means once we can do a signing error free, our service provided is the same. 
So the signing agent who's getting the direct business has solely told people that I'm a signing agent. Like that, that's it. Does that make sense? Is that resonating? Drop a comment below. Let me know that's hitting you well. Because too many signing agents, well, I need to get to 100 signings before I go direct. Like what? Like, no, you don't. You go direct the moment you can do a signing error free because we're all the same. The signing agent who makes more money than you is not better than you. They've just told more people they're, they're signing agent you. That's it. Let's go. Wow. What an amazing Monday. I hope you're being safe out there. I hope you're making a ton of money. I hope you're bringing value. I hope you are believing in yourself and understanding that you are worthy of everything you're willing to work for. All right. Who do we got so much? You're so welcome, Courtney. All right. Who do we got next? Uh, let's go by Will. Oh, man, we've had people from Ohio, Texas, North Carolina. I mean, what an incredible uh, day today with Sunny. Well, well, my man, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Dude, you tell me what's going on. Oh, I can't see you. Flip oh. around so the window's not behind you. The window's yeah. behind you. My bad. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, brother. So, uh, Will's your name. Where are you from? Yeah. And, and any coaching? Um, I'm from New York, but um, I relocated to Riverview, Florida after I got out of the Army, and I just wanted to, like, make a notary business. Um, my specific question for you is um, I became an NSA not because I specifically wanted to. I wanted to focus on GNW, specifically Ron work, but Notarize pushed me to be an NSA because in Florida, you couldn't be on the platform unless you're an NSA. So okay. I, I have friends that are NSAs. But I don't like going in person. I just want to do Ron work. Okay. I, reach, I reached out to signing services on Instagram, and I noticed like Ron NSA work isn't as popular. And I don't know how to even like cross that cross that bridge where I can actually start doing Ron NSA work and stuff like that. I'm, okay. Like yeah, yeah. Good question. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's talk about. First thing I want to say, bro, thank you for your service. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you very much. Can everybody tell Will, thank you for your service. It's, it's brave mm -hmm. men and women like you that make our country as amazing as it is. So thank you, bro. Um, it's an honor to be on this journey with you. So let me tell you this, though. Here's the problem. You're not getting NSA work because it's not popular. You're not, excuse me, you're not getting Ron work because it's not popular. Mm -hmm. You're not getting Ron work because the opportunity is not there yet. Oh, okay. I thought we were there yet. Yeah, no, we're not. And so, you know, I don't know if you're a student of my, are you an LSS student? Not yet, because I'm not so interested in NSA. Got it. A reason to be. If, once, I, once I see Ron NSA being popular, yeah, I'll hop on. Roger that. Okay. So, yeah, and whether you follow me on, L I mean, follow me on this Instagram page or my group, I, I kind of say the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's time to pivot, I'll be the first person to tell you it's time to pivot. The problem right now with Ron, so you really understand why it's not popular, is that the, the platforms are too fragmented you have notarized to your point you have pavaso you have notary. snap docs who is a digital platform mm -hmm. you have Sinex. so the problem right now with lenders are like well who do we go through do we go through notarized we go through pavaso yeah do we go through Sinex. like i said snap docs is making a huge push for a digital platform so the reason the banks haven't clomped on is because they're like who do we go with mm -hmm. so the ron the ron situation i monitor very closely because remember i have a seven figure signing service that I make money with. And the moment that it goes digital, I'll be the first person to teach everyone how to maximize that digital part of the business. But right. the reason you're not getting business yet, or not a lot of it, is because the lenders really haven't jumped on board. And so I compare Ron to like Tesla, where yeah. does yeah. Tesla's drive themselves? Sure, but that doesn't mean every car drives themselves. Is that probably something's gonna happen in the future? Sure. But until then, your car is perfectly fine. So is mine. But once we get remote online notaries and e-signings, then I'll let you know. But I'm going to end with this, okay? Just for, I'm going to end with this for edification. Mm. There is a difference between Ron and e-signings, okay? Yeah, so I know that, the, yeah. Give the distinction. Mm. We have a lot of states that allow remote online notaries. But that also, but in order for that to blend into NSA work, which you're looking for, Lenders have to be good with the electronic signing of notes, the electronic signings of deeds of trust, electronic signs, signing. Mm -hmm. So it's e-signings and Ron have to come together for it to really revolutionize the industry. Banks still are not on board with a, an electronic signature on a $400,000 note. I see They're them just, a lot on Notarize though. And, it, and I'm like, 
I'm like, why am I signing this for $5 when this really should be $150? What is wrong with this picture? Yeah, and then what's wrong with the picture is it's not, it hasn't created, it hasn't got mass adoption yet. That's what's wrong with it. So okay. once Fair there's enough. mass adoption, just pay attention to my Instagram page because mm. I'll be the first person to tell you there's mass adoption. But right now there's just not mass adoption, but I'm trying to educate you why. It's because gotcha. the lenders, because e-signings and Ron have to merge. Gotcha. One without the other is pointless. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because some banks do want e-signings, but then the states don't allow Ron. And then you have Ron in some states, but the banks aren't cool with e-signings. So like California, you can't do Ron, right? But there are yeah. some banks who do. So my point is, the, the, the point is the whole country's too fragmented. Yeah for Ron to really explode. That's yeah. the problem you're seeing. And that's the reason I don't cover it. Does that make sense? So yeah. just pay attention to loan signing system, social media channels, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Yeah. I'll have you covered. And when the moment happens, man, hopefully I have you as a student. But until then, dude, thank you so much for your service, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time, man. You're welcome. Go get it. I'm rooting for you. Um, you amazing conversation there. You know, I, I, I hope I answered some questions a lot of people have about Ron and e-signings. Remember, e-signings have to be merged with remote online notaries. Those are two. Remote online notaries is Ron. It's an acronym, R-O-N. So some states allow you to notarize via webcam, just like we're doing right now over Instagram Live. But again, just because your state allows remote online notaries, it doesn't mean that lenders allow e-signings, which means electronically signed notes, mortgages, deeds of trusts, errors and emissions agreement. So there has to be a perfect storm of both meeting for Ron to really take over the industry. Like I was telling Will, California doesn't let you do Ron. To invest all this money into 30 states that allow it is really why it doesn't take over yet. And remember, Ron has to merge with e-signings. Number two, is that the platforms have to be there. Right now, for lack of a better word, there's a war going on between what digital RON platforms can be adopted. There is Sinex, there is uh, um, Notarize, there is Pavaso, there is SnapDocs. So until, so until one of those really makes its way to the top, there's too much fragmentation. Because let's say Wells Fargo's like, hey, let's use Pavaso. But then Favaso goes under because not enough people are using Favaso. Well, now Wells Fargo just wasted all this time adopting to the Pavaso platform. But let's say it's notarized. So my point is there's too much fragmentation. Currently, there's too much fragmentation currently within the RON industry for it to take over for notary signing agents. But if you follow this page, be, trust me, I will help you through this entire process. So when the time comes to pivot, when there's mass adoption, you know I got you covered. But until then, keep your head down. All the money is in paper signings, the way we've been doing it, and the way I foresee it happening for the near future. So let's get one more person on here right now. Oh, tell me that's you, Deidre. Deidre. I don't... Deidre, you're on, girl. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. So Deidre took us out of North Carolina, outside of Charlotte. Um, Love it. Okay, DJ, do me a favor real quick. Tilt your camera down so I can see you. I can't, I can barely, there yeah, we go, there we, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, in North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte, I've been in business for six months. I've completed over, what, 70 signings? Oh, hold on, everyone, hope everybody heard that 70 <laughs> signings, six months, that is beautiful. <laughs> okay, so where are we on our journey? What can I help you with? So my ish, my question is this. So I've started in October. I've started going out direct marketing. So I've been going to about five to seven places each week because um, I feel like I have, a, I have a plateau. Like I've been, I've earned a thousand and a thousand and a thousand for the last three months, but it's not like, so I'm not missing some point here or whatever. So uh, DJ, real quick, are you a loan signing system student? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know, let me just kind of jump in with a couple of things there. And I'm going to coach you on what you want, but I want kind of a bigger moment. You know, uh, Deborah Smith Owens is, is in North Carolina. We have, yeah. Heather, we have Heather Sider in North, North Carolina. You know, we just had another student on early in, in, in North Carolina. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, the reason I create those groups is so you guys get that local network and support. 
So the first thing I want to make I ask you, are you like on weekends, you know, trying to do coffee with a couple other students and really try to pick brains of each other? Because remember, we're colleagues, not competition. But Correct. the most important thing I do with those subgroups is I encourage you guys to meet up. Maybe not if it's not in person, doesn't make you feel comfortable. Maybe get on the phone with someone. Be like, hey, you know, I'm feeling a little bit of plateau. Can we get on the phone and exchange marketing ideas? What's working? What's not working? So make sure that you're also leaning on some accountability partners okay. that you find within the group. So that's kind of my first coaching for you. And frankly, everybody who's on here right now is to make sure that you're leaning on other people in the community. Because look, Deidre, not everyone can relate to like the, the trials and tribulations that we go to, you know, yeah. family and friends as a supportive as they are really getting someone else who kind of also feels like they're plateauing. And then maybe you guys realize that you're having the same problem, right? And then identifying that problem and then going to Deborah Smith Owens, like, oh my gosh, girl, we had a, we had a, we had a moment where we understood we're doing wrong. How would you solve this? Okay. So sometimes that spitballing with a fellow student is all the difference in getting clarity on what's going wrong. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. So, with that being said, let's talk about the coaching you need. So, you know, what, what I would tell you is this, okay? Is, you know, I know that you want direct business today or tomorrow, I get it. And so, you know, what I would tell you is just be a little bit more patient. The direct side of your, your, of your journey is not gonna scale as quickly as the signing service side. You just have to, you just have to understand that. Now, it can if, you're doing the once a week follow up, the once a week emails, going in and saying their script. But I think a lot of times when students start trying to trying to divert to direct, it's not a plateau. It's more understanding that your garden is blossoming even though you don't see it yet because of all the watering you're doing. You know what I mean? Yes. So I think it's more my coaching I can give you, D, is, is as long as you are consistently watering your garden, what I mean by that is you're doing follow-ups, you're showing gratitude, you're following up in person, mm -hmm. not just via email. So if you're doing all that, it's not plateauing, it's just being a little impatient. Because remember, I, I tell you to believe in invisible growth, right? You gotta understand that the roots are sprouting, maybe slower than you want, but the, it will start popping up if you just give yourself patience. So. Um, if you're doing everything I just coached you on, if you're using the script, now here's what I will coach you on, and I'm not saying you're doing this wrong, I just wanna give you some coaching, mm -hmm. is a lot of time on the follow-up, sometimes we feel just the follow-up is enough, meaning you pop in, you're like, what up, it's D, <laughs> you pop out. You gotta still be using the script. You gotta be remembering why they should give you opportunity. Okay. Right, and, and if you're not remembering them why, then, then you're kind of, your follow-up's going on deaf ears. And so remember the script is, you know, 18 points. Your job is to pick three or four that resonate with you. Correct. And then kind of go in and say those three or same things, right? You know, sometimes marketing is saying the same thing over and over and over until someone remembers it. So sometimes people on the follow-up D will go in and they'll say three or four different points than the point they said the first time. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And so, you know, the reason you kind of see AT&T tell you about the same plans 40 million times because they need to hammer home that same plan before you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to go switch to AT&T. So right. my point is kind of copy that marketing proudness with saying the same thing over and over until they realize, oh, that D lady will go to Raleigh. Oh, that's right. She will go. You know what I mean? So right. you say, I don't know if Raleigh's close, but you see my point <laughs> is uh, if you're saying the same thing, then they're like, oh my gosh. She's a lady who says she'll do a midnight one. I forgot. We have someone who's leaving on vacation tomorrow. Got to do it at midnight. So if you're saying the same things over and over, then they then sometimes when that opportunity arises, they attach you to that opportunity. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? Was that helpful? Very. All right, girl. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And uh, you know, put me in the DMs if you need any other help or love or support or just encouragement. You got this, D. Thank you for everything, Mark. As always. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. What an amazing conversation. I, I think the, conference, the, the best takeaway that I have from Dee's coaching moment, and I hope you guys hear me, is sometimes signing agents are like, well, Mark, what do I say on the follow-up? Well, Mark, like, like, I'm confused on the words. And it's the same thing you said the first time. So get the script out. Remember, the three or four or five different bullet points. 
Your job is to remind them of those bullet points. So you don't need to get fancy with what you're saying or what you're doing. You just gotta make sure that sometimes you say the same thing over and over and over and they can match the opportunity with you. And that concludes another amazing Goal Setting Monday, which has turned more to one-on-one -on -one coaching with notary signing agents on Monday. You guys are absolutely amazing. Look, I'm gonna end with all of this. You are worthy. You are deserving. If any narrative in your brain, any thoughts you are saying yourself tell you otherwise that you deserve success, that you're worthy of the $150, I need you to change it. You got to stop talking mean to yourself. Start being kind. I am great. I am amazing. Believe it. Understand it. You deserve it. You are worthy of it and success is yours. You are willing to get, you are deserving of anything you're willing to work for. So let's put in some work. Don't ever stop dreaming. Ever believe in yourself and let's go. Be blessed, everybody. I appreciate you. Remember, I believe in you. But I just can't believe in you more than you believe in self. Be blessed, everybody. Bye.